Hello everybody, I am so happy, so excited to bring you guys this design. It's such a beautiful design, I fell in love with it. When I saw it, um, I was inspired to do this design. The creator of this design is Mindy Hardy. I saw it on her Instagram page and I just fell in love with it. Um, and I thought I have to recreate it. But of course, I did a more simple version of it and I added, you know, a little bit of my touch here and there. Um, I doing it in a squalito shaped nail. I put the form as if I was going to do a stiletto form nail. Um, and right here I'm just adding one last bead for to give it my desired thickness so my nail can be strong and it won't break. I thought the video was recording when I put the acrylic on the cuticle area but it wasn't recording but I did put acrylic there just so you guys know. It just didn't record. Okay, after I take off the nail forms, I'm going to file with this 100 grit file the sides of the nails first. I just um, make sure I clean that up and the edges and then the whole body of the nail. If you apply the acrylic right, there will not be any need for you to file that much. It took me about 10 minutes or less to file my nails and file and buff my nails. And this is a manicure brush. I'm just removing all the excess um, dust powder. I'm cleaning it off with my favorite wipes, Soft Landings wipes. They leave no lint on your nails, much easier to work with. It leaves a clean, a very clean canvas to work on. <laughs> okay, this nail polish is a gold polish. I don't know the name of the color, but I bought this polish in Los Angeles. I was in downtown LA and it was a little makeup store they, where they sell makeup and they had a little nail polish section, a very small section, and this was one of the ones that was in there and it was like less than two dollars I have seen this brand though at the dollar store so you know maybe you'll find it there it's just a beautiful gold but you can use any gold you can even use gold acrylic paint and with the striper you know just get creative with whatever you have so as you as you can see I did these lines and then I'm just filling them up with the same polish And I wanted, I wanted it a little more closed up, so as you can see, I'm retouching it right there. And you know, just work with it until you ha you're happy with, with what you have. Okay, I love it. Now with this French brush, I recommend for all of you to have a French brush always at hand if you're gonna polish nails because you know, clean cuticles is what's gonna make you different from everyone else out there. Um, this polish is from Sinful Colors. I don't have the, it doesn't have the color. It was a gift actually and it didn't have the name. But I've seen this polish everywhere. You can buy it at Walmart, at Target, at CVS, at Walgreens, Rite Aid. You know, any drugstore has this polish. And the good thing is that, you know, the brand is Sinful Colors. So just, it's like a purplish blue, bluish purple, however you want to see it. But it's beautiful color. I fell in love with it. So the ring finger, I just completely put two coats of it. Now in the middle finger, I'm doing as if I was going to polish the whole nail, but I'm just going to leave a negative spaced line right in the center, as you can see. I put one coat and then I clean off the edges. I don't want to let the polish on the edges and the cuticle area dry too much because then it will be very hard to take off. Even though I'm using pure acetone, but it, you just struggle more. And then I put a second coat on that middle nail. Now I'm using a matte top coat. You can use any matte top coat that you have. The one I'm using here is the one that I have for sale in my online store. About my online store, it is not open yet. As many of you know, I had a baby. She's about to be two months. And you know, I it's been hard for me to have the store open because I don't wanna make you guys wait. On the shipping so I'm going to open it once I'm ready and I you know have everything settled um, but it will reopen I will definitely announce it once my online store is open so thank you all for your patience because many of you write me email me message me write me that you guys want to buy stuff from my online store and it's in maintenance mode but it will open soon so thank you so much for being so patient um, as you can see with um, brush on glue which I will have in my online store um, from my line so it's an amazing glue it, it will hold those crystals for a long 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 time 
and after I applied the matte top coat I let it dry and then I'm just applying these crystals they're Swarovski crystals except those square ones that I put in the middle those are acrylic crystals and as you can see the sizes are I believe the biggest one is a 20 then a 16 and then a 12 or a 10 I'm so bad with numbers and when I buy them I put them like in little containers so I don't even know if you got glue on the nail don't worry just put a little bit more matte top coat and it'll go away on top of whatever you um, wherever the glue is is on you just put more matte top coat on top of that and it'll turn matte again and right here I'm applying more Swarovski crystals as you can see with the brush on resin and I decided to take the since the glue wasn't completely dry yet I decided to take the square one off and just have the two round ones I changed my mind a bit there and I love the end result I left the ring finger and the thumb just matte so this is it I hope you guys like this design I totally loved it and I was anxious to share it with you guys so thank you so much for watching I really appreciate all your support and all your patience and for always you know supporting my videos I'm very thankful for that so I'm gonna leave down in the description box the link to my Facebook my Instagram and my Twitter follow me on there so we can stay connected thank you so much and until next time